Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a camera shake effect in Godot 4. To start, we will add a script to our camera, or you may already have a existing script, or you can even make one on a separate object and just reference the camera. Once here, we will need a few variables. This is going to be a randomized effect, so it will be different every time, so we're going to need a few variables correlated to that. We will do an export variable random strength. This will be the random strength. This will get, let's set it to 30. We need a shake fade effect for how smoothly it slows down, which will get or speeds up and slows down. We also need a RNG. So I will do a on ready. Actually, we don't need on ready. My bad. We just need a variable, RND, gets random number generator, sorry, RNG, dot new. Next, we need a overall strength of the shake effect. So we do shake underscore strength. This will get zero to start. Next, we need a function. I'll put it right here called apply shake. You can name it whatever you want. Shake strength. We'll get the random strength. Next, we need to set our random offset. So function random offset gets vector two. This will return a vector two. Of RNG dot rand f range of negative shake strength and shake strength. So anywhere in between. And the same thing for the y axis. All right, before we trigger this function, we need a way to actually trigger it. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using a key press. However, for your game, you can apply this to say a area node or something like that. So I would just go project, project settings, input map, shake. And I'll just use space key for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I would do if input dot is action just pressed, shake, apply, shake. And here we will check if shake strength is greater than zero, we will fade it down. So shake strength, we'll get warp F. This is actually different from Godot 3. We now have to specify if it's a float. So shake strength, zero. Shake fade times delta. And our Offset, since we're already on the camera, we don't have to actually reference the camera. So offset, we'll get random offset. And now if we go and play the scene, if I press space, you can see we have a camera shake. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.